What's up guys, this is Louie, and we've got a fun video today. I'm gonna to show you how to get chat GPT running on iOS 6, iOS 7, a bunch of old phones and softwares. I can link it all below, but this is all thanks to a developer out of Germany, and I'm gonna pull him up right here. He made this chat GPT for legacy iOS, and his name is Bag XML. So if we look is about here. He's got Twitter, Blue Sky, email, Instagram. I'll put it all in the description. Feel free to buy this guy a coffee or send him a PayPal if this is super useful to you. But he's the one who built this entire tool and I'm gonna show you how to use it. Google. So the problem with running ChatGPT on an iPhone 3GS, first and foremost, is that there's no app store. The app store has been discontinued, it will not load. So in order to install ChatGPT, you have to jailbreak it. And I don't want you to be super scared. I'm gonna show you how to do it. By jailbreaking, you'll get Cydia on your device and we just have to install one package and then you should be good to go. So we're gonna keep this tutorial section super simple and then I'm gonna hop into ChatGPT so you can see how it all works. All right, so this next part is gonna work best if you have an OEM Apple cable. So this is an Apple 30 pin adapter that came with an original Apple product. It's not like a recreation from Amazon. And all I have is a USB-A to USB-C adapter, so it works with my MacBook. Gonna plug that in. And then we're good to go. We're connected. That means that my computer can see and sync this phone even though it's super old. So that's one of the coolest part about Macs is I can just sync it with this iPhone even though it's running iOS 6.1.6 .6 and it was released like over 10 years ago. Now that we have it connected to our computer and we see it showing up in Finder, we can download this first link in the description, Posix Pwn. So if you open this up, this is a special modified version that has been modified to work on the latest version of Mac OS. So once you get in here, you're just gonna open posixpone.tool, you're gonna right click, hit open, and it will launch the terminal. It might ask you for access, it might ask you to confirm that it's safe, and once you do that, you'll get into this, the GUI itself, and it's very simple. You just need to keep your phone plugged in, and you need to hit jailbreak and wait, I don't know, five, 10, 15 minutes. The slower the device, the longer this will take because it does have to do a lot of processing on the device itself. So that's super easy. Once we get that done, then we're jailbroken. So once we're jailbroken, you're gonna come and you're gonna open Cydia. And Cydia is not gonna work for you right away. It's gonna have to reload some things. It might have you reboot once or twice to fully work. And then we're just gonna add a single source. Okay, so once I'm inside Cydia, I'm gonna go to sources and I'm gonna click edit and I'm gonna click add on the top right. And here's where you're gonna type in ponage.dev. And I can't type on this tiny keyboard. Oh my Lord. All right, ponage.dev, you're gonna click add source and then it will load for a little bit. I've already added it, you can see it here. So once you've added it, it might prompt you to restart your springboard. Once you're done with that, you're gonna load back into Cydia and you're just gonna type in app sync and you're gonna install AppSync for iOS 5.0 plus. So when you click on this, you can click modify. Mine says reinstall and remove, but yours will just say install or downgrade. Those are the two options. So you're gonna install that and restart your phone one more time, restart the springboard. All right, once your phone reboots after that and you have AppSync Unified installed, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna to go to Safari and you're gonna to go to chatgptlegacy.com same website I was just on on my laptop over here and we're gonna click this hamburger menu and we're gonna click download it's gonna bring us to the download page and once you have AppSync Unified installed you can just click right here on this install button and it will prompt you to install just like that and there we go we're officially installing And just like that, you have ChatGPT on your iPhone 3GS. All right, so I'm just gonna move this to the front screen. Go over here, just like that. So 
Once you open the app for the first time, it's gonna prompt you to log in. And unfortunately, because of the workaround to get this app to work, you can't just log in with your ChatGPT account. You have to scroll down and you have to add in your ChatGPT API key. So how do you get your API key? It's actually pretty straightforward. You're gonna to go to platform.openai.com. It's linked out on the ChatGPT legacy website. And once you get here, you just go to your account and you click on your profile and you scroll down to API keys. And once you're there, you can create a key for ChatGPT for legacy iOS. The only catch is you have to add a little bit of funding to your API key in order to use it. I'm just gonna add $5, which is the minimum amount. I'm just using it to mess around a little bit, so my cost should be less than $5, so I'm not super worried about it. But if you're using this a lot, you are paying for the fees. So the next problem is the API key is a long string of numbers and letters, and I have no way to communicate with this device. So I can't just send over the API key. So I found that the best way was to log into Gmail on Safari and email the API key to myself. Once we email it to ourselves, we can just copy it from the email, head back to the ChatGPT app, paste it in, and you just have to hit return. And then you're logged in. I'll just paste in what's the best iPhone for now. All right, according to ChatGPT, it's the iPhone 15 Pro Max. This is so cool. This is super nostalgic for me to kind of have this interface. I kind of miss when this design was, was common across everything. So anyway, you can go to the sidebar here and access your chats. You can also upload images. I'm gonna take a picture of my laptop here. I'm gonna say, what? laptop is this? Not able to identify the specific laptop from the image, but based on the appearance, it looks like it's a MacBook, possibly a MacBook Pro. That's pretty cool. So visual intelligence confirmed working on iOS 6. This is super cool, guys. I hope you check it out. And if you did, I hope you support Bag XML, toss them a dollar or two, or give them a shout on social media, or hire them if you're hiring people. But this guy's pretty cool. The whole project is available on his GitHub. Check it out. Also at chatgptlegacy.com. Anyway, guys, that's how to use ChatGPT on the iPhone 3GS. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.